Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this multi-tool. This is sold as the Marten 8-in-1 multi-tool. It's also sold as the UK Coco multi-tool. It was $14. I will include a link if you want to pick one up. That'll be in the text description box below the video. Alright, let's go through the tool set, shall we? It's got one-handed opening via a thumb stud on a plain edge knife blade. That is a locking blade. Right, you see there, that is the liner lock. So it has a short little blade. Could be useful for some cutting tasks. It's got typical multi-tool pliers. They are spring-loaded and it has some small little wire cutters. It's got two screwdrivers. That is a flattened Phillips screwdriver with a nail nick as your opener. And it also has a bottle opener with a micro flathead screwdriver at the end. And those do not lock. It has a fold-out carabiner, which is a swing gate style carabiner. Alright, so this tool set, it is a very minimalist tool set. This is really for someone who does not want any extra tools or extra weight or bulk on their multi-tool. It could be a pretty useful tool set though, but this is a very small multi-tool. There is a size comparison with the Gerber Dime, which is like a keychain size multi-tool. All right, so this is a pretty unique size. It is about three inches closed, right? So you don't see many multi-tools in this particular size category. All right, there's a comparison of the pliers. So you see it gives you a little bit bigger plier head than a keychain multi-tool would and longer handles, a little more leverage. So if you need something one step up from a keychain multi-tool. All right, doing stuff with this multi-tool. Got my Stanley Fat Max, uh, utility knife with the snap off blades and uh, you know speaking of snapping off there you go so you can do little surgical operations grip things tightly here are the wire cutters in action we've got some fairly easy wire some soft wire which it has no trouble with at all I right, got some harder wire coming up a little bit harder all right this is 18 gauge copper wire will it do it yes it does all right, so pretty good for wire. You know, they are short wire cutters, so so it would be harder to use them on larger diameter wire, but useful for some small wires. All right, here's the needle nose part, reaching in and gripping. And again, you can do little surgical operations with these pliers. Never underestimate the uses of uh, even small pliers. You can also bend your wire with them into whatever, whatever type of uh, Christmas ornament <laughs> shape you need. Loops hooks, springs, little guys to be your best friends now. Just kidding. So how are you guys all doing today? Can you hear the uh, the birds are chirping? All right, hope the background noise is not too bad. I think it adds to, you know, you feel like you're out there. All right, so these are just wide enough that you can get it around that piece of my cutting stand there. So you can turn things, uh, you can hold things in place if that becomes necessary. So these small pliers are actually pretty useful. They have uh, a lot of different functions to them. Here is the flattened Phillips screwdriver on one of the screws on the handle of my Kershaw Camp 12 machete. This is another useful implement. This size and type of screwdriver, I find it does fit many screws that I do encounter. So as far as uh, what they could have put in that short tool slot. This is actually one of the most useful choices that they could have chosen to put there. All right, and as you see, it did well on unscrewing and screwing back that screw. All right, here's the other screwdriver. Now I find that this micro flathead screwdriver does fit a lot of screws on small electronics items, uh, such as that retro, that battery powered uh, retro console little game that I have. All right, so if you work in IT, for example, you probably actually will find this micro screwdriver uh, to be pretty useful day to day. All right, so this has two ways to carry it. The carabiner, which folds out, as I said, a swing gate, and you can hang it on a belt loop as they uh, actually show in their Amazon ad, All right? But it also has a pocket clip. There is the pocket clip just being a pocket clip. So this does not come with a belt sheath, but it has two different ways to hang it off of you. All right, so those are some convenient options. Let's try out the blade, shall we? We've got some paracord there. Now this is a short little blade, 
And uh, to be honest with you, it, it did not come very sharp at all. So the first step, I would recommend sharpening it. And they, they did not say what steel they use, uh, but it's not a very good steel because I did touch this up, but uh, it just didn't take an edge very well. But it's still more than able to do small tasks uh, like that paracord. You see, it had no trouble. All right, that is a bubble mailer. I think this is like the most likely task for most people, just like the most, the lightest of tasks, just like opening your mail. Uh, but as you can see, it's very good for that that hard use now, that, that super light use. Hey, it's a mini multi-tool, you know. Here is some whittling action coming up. We've got some basswood there, which is a type of wood that's often preferred by whittlers. So I hope you are doing well these days and keeping cool. I live in New England and we got yet another uh, two day long excessive heat warning, right? So I hope everyone stayed uh, stayed safe through that. That's uh, when I filmed it. It was just like the day before. It was pretty hot that day too. Okay, sped this footage up a little bit because uh, Whitling can be slow going. So this knife blade, it's a good just backup knife, right? I was doing the, uh, got a little crayon of wood there. This is the pencil sharpening test. All right, just doing the other end. Hope you can see the whittling action, all right? But, so this knife blade, it's a good backup blade for small chores, right? But it's really not the equivalent of a lot of the small knives we might carry, such as like a Spyderco Ladybug. But nonetheless, you can get some use out of it. Made a little double-ended crayon with it there. All right, the bottle opener. Now, yeah, th this bottle opener, uh, viewer discretion advised, the bottle opener did, uh, it opened it, but there were some casualties, right? I saved the uh, worst for last because the bottle opener actually bent just using it to open a bottle. Yeah, you see how it bent there? I mean, that was kind of predictable, but if you're a reviewer, you pretty much have to test it anyway. So see how it sticks out because it bent a little bit. So the bottle opener, pretty fragile. I would recommend never using that to open a bottle and instead uh, just use the plier head, right? If you have pliers, you can open a, a bottle anyway. So that, that's uh, fragile and superfluous. All right, here are some more useful size comparisons. We've got the Leatherman Sidekick, which is dwarfing those others. Then we got the Juice, which is, uh, unfortunately, the Juice series is discontinued. All right, and then we have this multi-tool, and then the Dime again. So where this fits in, it's like larger than a keychain multi-tool, but slightly shorter than a Juice. And really, the the compact size, there's a comparison of the plier heads. Look at the, the sidekicks pliers dominate the others. But really, the small size is pretty much one of the only selling points of this particular multi-tool and, and that it's not excessively expensive. Uh, one thing I would change would be the blade shape. Uh, I don't see why they went with that conventional blade shape. When you're talking about real short blades like this, like uh, the blade shape on my classic Gerber suspension up there, I, I just feel it's much more utilitarian when you're going short, right? And they also made the blade a, a little too thick, all right? So that's one improvement I would make. But uh, final thoughts on this multi-tool. If you are buying it, you're going to buy it because you need something exactly this size and mainly for the pliers and also those screwdrivers are quite useful. The blade, as I said, it's it's more of a more of a backup for the lightest of tasks, so really, if you need uh, a compact set of folding pliers, this is what you would buy, right? Now, I do feel it is overpriced at the moment. I mean, $14, eh, still not too expensive, but I think this is worth about $9.95, and it could hit that in the future. I also feel like if you order from possibly AliExpress, you could probably get it for far less, but then your returning options are more limited. So, like, should anybody buy this? Let's let's start there. Who who should actually consider this? Uh, well, if you're like an ultralight backpacker and you need something very small, very light, but you need some small pliers, this might be the ticket. Uh, if you work in IT and again you just need something really small, but you want to use those pliers to reach in and grab things and cut wire on occasion, or you need that little micro screwdriver, could be could be fairly useful, like in an office somewhere uh, perhaps you could use the small pliers to like uh, adjust something 
on a bicycle, for example, right? So basically, this is for people who need some small pliers, a backup knife blade, maybe the screwdrivers, but for whatever reason, you don't want to carry like a full-sized uh, heavy metal multi-tool. I would actually love to see a company like Leatherman make a, a US-made version of higher quality around the $25 price range, but I sadly that's not going to happen. All right, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, thorough review. And uh, because this is not necessarily a must have, I will include some other links in the text description box, basically top 10 or top 20 budget multi-tools because uh, I, I want to give you guys some good stuff that, that you can add. Uh, there are some full-size multi-tools of the same price that are a lot better, right? So unless you specifically need the subcompact size, you want to check out like my Kranak multi-tool review. There is another Mar 10 that was also better all around 14, right? So check out the text description box. You'll find some good stuff. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm out.